The Rizik Street Post Office was at one stage the tallest building in Johannesburg, with 102 meters. The building was designed by Paul Kruger's architect, the Dutch Sitze Virda, in 1897, who also designed the Palace of Justice in Pretoria. Architecturally, the Rizik Post Office has a mix of styles, including Renaissance, French, Dutch and other European influences. The building used to have a fully functional clock called the Coronation Clock that cost a total of £3,000 back in the days and worked for the first time on the Saturday, December 31st, 1904. In 1905, with the rapid expansion of the city, another story was added. Together with the clock tower, the municipality owned the building and was leased to the South African Post Office for a term of 99 years. But once the lease ended in 1996, the building fell prey to vandalism and was gutted inside by fires twice. The last fire was in November 2009. The building became a national monument in 1978. The renovation is estimated to cost a total of 147 million rand and begins with the excavation for the columns. There is also a structural active scan which includes radar scanning, exposures for the bases and repairs to the core extraction and the procurement of the required steel which has been fabricated in line with the designs of the building. Whatever was left was destroyed in the fire and contractors have worked painstakingly to clear the debris and sift through savageable remains. The Rizik Street Post Office has a small inner city park behind. It's called the Ernest Oppenheimer Garden. In 2010, made part of the inner city retail improvement district. The main entrance to the building will be via Oppenheimer Park. The current main entrance will be used for ceremonial occasions, such as photographs. There is too much happening on the Rizik Street to make this a safe and viable regular main entrance. The restoration project started in 2016 and more than 60 million were spent by the Johannesburg Property Company in its restoration work on the historic Rizik Street Post Office. An initial 40 million rand was invested in the building's rescue, starting with the erection of a steel skeleton inside the building to support the roof, walls and flooring. To deal with the underground water seepage, a lot of work was done below the surface, where tunnels were dug and water pumps installed. The building was put on surveillance to ensure that it didn't lose more of its historic assets to vandalism. We hope to see the Rizik Post Office back as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching the video. I'll be back next week. Thank you. Subscribe.